Hello, Esper Hunting Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Brave New World with me, Blue Ankylo. Now, we're not going to do this Magi Tower today, but um, I want to start here for today's episode. And I want to show you my party. And maybe you can guess by the lead two characters which um, bonus dungeon or side quest we'll be tackling next. I've also decided to take Gao out because I never use him. And I spent, I'd say, about an hour in between episodes just trying to farm some more rages and trying to memorize in my head a little bit about which ones are good. Um, I don't want to spend a ton of time. Weedula is really good. This is one of the ones in um, we picked up in Locke's Mountain, uh, the, the, the Phoenix Cave. Uh, it has uh, Storm and Quake, so those are really, really strong. Um, there's a lot of different ones, and it's hard to remember exactly. Uh, the Sea Flower was with, uh, same same fight that had the Weejilas, the little Bramble guy, was the Sea Flower, and it's got the aura of, it's got a good strong water attack, uh, the Wave Cannon. Um, let's see, Revenants were the, f uh, fire-type flying enemies. They've got uh, a really strong Firestorm. So that's kind of my go-to fire el element, water element, earth and wind water combination um what else was notable i think sprinters have arrow which is the air just pure air attack um let's see i'll try to go through this a little bit quicker punishers use something else that's they've got one that i remember thinking was good too um it's i i've lost it but they've got some attack that i think is good peeper has white wind which if Gao has acceptable amounts of HP, will heal the whole group. I believe the Orogs have uh, Holy, which is pretty cool, because it's really hard to get the Holy element. Um, Nasty Dons have a lot of Ice Elemental attacks. Uh, in fact, they've got Snowball and Absolute Zero, so you always get an Ice attack there, uh, if you're looking for that. Uh, I think... We've got wind, water, fire, ice covered, and earth. We've got most of the elements covered just with those. Um, Allosaurus is a really strong dragon that's got some pretty powerful hits in it. If you want, so far, if you want a physical hit, he might be one of the best ones. I'm not sure for sure. I haven't like researched it, but just from my experimentation, those seem to be top of the list right now. Uh, Harpy has that lightning attack. It's not very good. It's just single target gigavolt. Um, Maybe that's somebody. I think maybe that's what the Punisher had. Uh, the the Flash Storm, the Water Lightning attack. Uh, I think that's the one. Ninja uses uh, Vanish on people and uh, another Water attack, the Water Scroll. Anyway, they, they've got a lot of different attacks. Uh, the Mantis things have a really powerful physical multi-target attack. So like, I'm I'm trying to memorize them, but it's it's a lot of work. Anyway, without any further explanations on Gal. Uh, you should be familiar with our party in general by now. I'm actually switching to full fire for the reasons you'll see before too long. But, uh, yeah, you know these guys. You know my general equipment for those. Uh, for now, Celeste is very powerful magic protection. She's my main caster. Um, although I did give her Leo's Crest for, um, shock. So she's got a cheap, uh, powerful attack, and she does magic. And she st sits in the back row... And uh, I basically just gave her the weapon that gives her the most magic stat. So that's how that works. And then Gao gets his Bone Club. And he actually has the Fancy Shield, although... Oh yeah, and uh, the Aegis Shield here gives her haste. Um, so a lot of haste going around. In fact... I think if we look at... Esper's... Something, some, oh, I gave, uh, I gave Gal the Relic for haste. But yeah, like, three of my party has haste. Everyone except Celeste comes with auto haste. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, the reason I want to come here first is I've got a bunch of money. A lot of money, actually, but I, I, I want to show you, uh, a little hint. 100,000 GP is probably a waste of cash, but let's have it here. Hmm. Unless you can tunnel through miles of sand, you're out of luck. Okay, so you might want to remember this part. The queen takes five step fo steps forward. But yeah, we're definitely going to reset the game and not waste 100,000 GP. That's, uh, just 
too much time. <laughs> Sorry if you feel like that's cheating. I didn't need to know that puzzle. So um, I was just showing it for you guys, for your sake. 100,000 GP is still an incredible amount of grinding and farming for gold. So anyway, I think as soon as you've got the airship, anytime after you've unlocked the airship, if you go back to Figaro Castle and uh, travel underneath the sands, which of course you can always go back and forth, even if I haven't been showing it off, uh, all the way back in the World of Balance, something interesting might happen. Now, you don't need to bring Edgar and Sabin, but I figure, hey, it's their castle. They should be the ones leading the expedition. Now, I in the original Final Fantasy VI, as I say every time, uh, make sure you stop, um, I, I remember this was a pretty difficult area. Now, I don't know what it'll be like balance-wise in Brave New World, if it's going to be impossibly difficult at our level or just fair, but uh, we'll see soon enough. So, same entrance as we came in from the South Figaro Cave. Welcome to... Well, we'll see. I forget the name of this area specifically. So, we've got some new attacks. First off, I don't know what the enemies around here are weak to exactly, but I'll, I'll try to show off some cool stuff. So, first off, Weejula. I have pretty good feeling about this. I'll try doing a bit of scanning down here just so I get a, a general feel. Well, that's That was definitely the wrong one. So, one thing that, uh, well, we might get the Quake as well anyway, but, um... One thing I did test is the Green Cherry. Definitely, um... Oh, they're weak to fire. Okay, maybe everything down here is weak to fire. Um, the Green Cherry breaks Gao out of his rage, 100%. Wait, what claw did I have equipped that did that? Um, so unfortunately this free storm, now, that's a 30 MP spell, um, unfortunately it's just not very good against this enemy. Yeah, they're definitely weak to fire. Tsunami! Oh snap, I should have bring Strago here. So that's a, a very powerful water uh, elemental attack. Um, if I can ever, if I can eventually learn a Pawn Scum Rage, you can basically guarantee that it'll be good, because... Tsunami is probably the strongest water elemental attack. So that's that's interesting. So I guess we're fighting water-based enemies, you know? Bring your fire, bring your lightning. Now, I do have a way to heal that will probably work pretty well. I was going to check... Oh yeah, I was going to switch over to double health law. That's... Oh, it's because I... Uh... Right, I reloaded after we spent our money. That's all that is. Sorry, I got confused. Remember this area being a little bit mazy? And I think one or two of these chests is trapped. Not that one. On scum urchin again. Okay, urchins are new. So if they're weak to fire, I think the right choice is revenant. Although, again, I'm not 100% sure just always what the best choice is. Ah, uh, okay, not that. Well, we're 0 for 2 with uh, picking rages. Shock did a little bit of damage. Auto crossbow wins the day. Thank you, physical damage. But yeah, it's nice to hear the underwater trench theme again, whatever the name of this track is. More, uh... Okay, we'll fire for this time for sure. Raise is the uh, single target fire spell. It's pretty good. It's pretty good if the character casting it has a high magic. I believe it does fire and poison damage, technically. Alright, so so far, I know, Gal hasn't really done us any good, right? Like, compared to the other three, that's the reason I made sure my other three characters in this team were like, supercharged, super powerful characters. Just in case Gal kind of fails us down here. Um... We'll see how he does. I mean, I had to give him a chance, so I decided, hey, Blue, let's bring him to one of the potentially most dangerous dungeons in the game. It's probably not the most dangerous. It's definitely not. Just relatively difficult. Thunder Guard, cool. So that's another one of our shields. Um, I feel like it was probably that. That sounds like the kind of... It had a different name, but I think it was the same shield in the original game. So now we've got... 
I think one of each, Fire, Ice, and Lightning Guard. So that's something. If we run into a dragon that uses thunder. <clears throat> Zorathian, right, these guys. So, so far, like I said, Gal's been a little bit underperforming. Let's uh, try Peeper. Maybe we'll get some value out of him with this one. <laughs> so the rock attack isn't very good. I'll admit that. Oh, good. <laughs> well, Sabin dealt with everything. That's fine. Thanks, Sabin. Look, I'm trying to use Gal, guys. I think this is the way... No, that's not the way forward. There's... We're trying to go down, though, somewhere. Urchins. Uh, I have no idea what they're weak against. Probably strong against water. Maybe lightning. Could be anything. Let's try, um, I'll try arrow, because wind might work, and that's, uh, uh, hold on. This is, this is my trouble. I think it's a sprinter that has that. Yeah. So if this works, we can use, uh, wind blade. Uh, barely. Alright, let's try to find out what they're weak against. I'll wait for the scan and then I'm... It's probably just auto crossbow, honestly. Like, if they're poison elemental, what's poison weak to? Apparently just counter kills them all. Okay, enough countering the counters. Stop it. Seriously. My one chance to see their weakness. Ice! Alright, well, everything in this dungeon is weak against something different. Unfortunately, the, um... Uh, the... The enemy we raged, whose name eludes me again all automatically, the, uh... The one with arrow, anyway. Unfortunately, they come with, a uh, kind of annoying rasp as a secondary ability. I don't feel like that's gonna be useful very often, so... It's probably not one I'll, um... I'll, I'll test out very often. Phoenix Tears, okay. I think we can go this way, yeah. Nothing there. Uh, right. Now this next chest for sure. I remember this one. Alright, so what, what other amazing... <coughs> um, let's try the Mantoid thing. I was talking about that a little bit earlier. Maybe some physical damage will... Uh, Mantodia. Maybe, maybe this will make things look better. Come on. That's pretty pathetic. That's not very good. Compared to the A-list, that's a pretty terrible amount of damage. Well, at least Edgar's getting his counters in. <laughs> I mean, just look at the comparative damage. I feel like if they nerfed... I mean, okay. I, I, My guess, I still think, that the problem with Gal is that he needs magic power to do damage, or stamina, and if it's stamina, then we can test that out later. Uh, I'm just gonna put a save here, because I have a bad feeling about this chest. Yeah, yeah. So, one of the weaknesses of having Gao is he's not gonna be terribly useful here. Um, this Tonberry, I think is weak to fire, but that's why I equipped all the fire stuff. Tomberries are real jerks, though. Uh, alright, so he's moving quickly towards us. Let's scan him, even though it takes a second. I'm gonna suplex him just to deal a little bit of damage, and then... I jump on him. Yeah, fire was correct. He comes with haste! Ah, oh, so we can't slow him. He's got auto haste on, unfortunately. So the suplex was kind of a waste. Oh good, he counters with step mine. Well, prepare to die. She seems to be no way to survive. So it's possible Gal will kill us all with counter... Uh, with the Tonberry counters? I don't know. And that did a lot of damage. And then he's dead. Ah, uh, uh, but we need more 9,999 damage, don't we? I was kind of hoping Gal would be better here, but... He's just not hitting very hard. 
The good news is it maybe the Master T doesn't counterattack magic. But he's almost He's almost here. He's getting close. That did even less damage. Uh He's basically on top of us. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Might get like one attack out of Sabin if I'm lucky. Maybe Edgar will save the day at the last second. Come on, Tonbori. You need to die. Gank. Yeah. Yeah, he got too close. Well, Sabin's attack went in. And then counter kills him. Counter. Oh, man! We got lucky. <sighs> well, we got an Avenger out of it, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, Tonberries are always difficult, and you know how Brave New World likes to roll. Make sure they give them attacks that no one can survive. And a counterattack that just kills everyone. Alright. Well, that's why uh, I saved it, because I figured we'd probably die, but... Then we got lucky. Okay, so the Avenger sounds like a sword of some sort. Uh, I didn't see it. Dang it. Ah, there it is. It's a holy knife. Well, I didn't bring anyone who can use it, so... Oh, well. Forget about it. It's a waste. A piece of junk. Okay, so I think... I just need to feel, find a way down to the next area now. Which I believe... Kind of a little bit lost. But I believe we need to go down and around. Let's try the Allosaurus. Dragons sound cool, right? Uh, not dragons, dinosaurs, sorry. I gotta say, Gao is not doing a great job of convincing me he's as strong as Celeste. Sabin or Edgar. I'm, I'm giving him a chance. I'm trying, guys. Well, there's a strong hit. Now, he got double damage because it was a back attack. 2,500 damage for a hit is pretty good. So I think we need to take this door and cross this land bridge. This maybe isn't the way either. I think it's maybe the bottom right of this area, and I just haven't figured out how to get there yet. Let's test out some more, um, test out some different ones here, uh, I'll show you the Orog's Holy Attack. One thing you do have to be careful about with, um, Gao is a lot of his, a fair number of his, that was useless, of his rages, uh, turn him into, like, undead sort of status, so if you do a group heal spell, uh, you could potentially just kill him in one shot. I think the Orog is considered undead, by the way. Unfortunately for that one, you'll have to have an amazing memory or have a printed out walkthrough beside you to keep track of it. So, what am I doing here? How do we... Come on, random encounters. Sometimes it's just too much. So fire was, was supposed to work. I wish I had a better fire one. The witch is the other sort of fire elemental, but... It also just sp wastes an awful lot of time casting Reflect. I think Reflect and Blink, technically. And that is one that, um, that's another... Speaking of lores, that's another lore for Strago. So we can get him Refract. We can get him maybe Tsunami now, if that's something he can learn here. Uh, he's got Rays. Maybe Strago would be better, I don't know. He's gonna have a special dungeon one of these days, too, so... He'll get his try, don't worry. Just like Gao gets a dungeon, we'll give Strago a dungeon. I'm sorry I'm lost. Uh, is there a switch or something? What am I... What am I missing here? Uh, the random encounter rate is kind of insane. So let's try... Instead of just casting Reflect endlessly, let's try something else. Uh, troll... This is a rather new one as well. Seems to do a lot of just damage. I don't know if that's like Earth Elemental or something.
All right, so there's definitely nothing on the left or on the on the bottom. Let's check the left and then we'll check the right. Try to figure out why I'm having such a hard time here. Uh, I do think Peeper, like, there's there's actually a few that heal now. Um, I forget which ones they are exactly, but I, I think I found three different rages that use healing abilities. One is the Moonlight that we saw from the dance, and another one is a Sunbeam we also saw from a dance. Um, but the best healing one seems to be uh, the Peeper, because it's White Wind. Except that he ends up doing that an awful lot, which is kind of annoying. Wow, that was a pretty terrible attack. I wonder if he counters Blitz with Bolt, like with Lightning. Is that, uh, is that the thing? Unfortunately, Gal just, he just continues to not cooperate. He doesn't heal when I need him to heal, and then... Oh, maybe we have to go left here. It's been so long since I've been in this dungeon, I totally forgot the route. Alright, Gal, you got one more chance. You need to heal the party right now, or we're never going to use you again. Alright, we got you. Finally using the right attack. So, Holy Wind is pretty good. Um, when he decides to be smart and use it anyway. And you may have noticed that I even put him in the front row just to try to maximize his ability to damage the enemies because every time I test him out like this, he seems to be underperforming in output. So I figured make sure he's in the front row so nothing is, you know, modifying him. Phoenix tier. That's disappointing. The encounter right here is way too high, by the way. I don't know if the modders can change that, but uh, it's definitely too high. Unfortunately, the Allosaurus uses that attack way too often, which is friggin' useless. Um, there's another Allosaurus attack that's just a physical attack, and it's really good. But Nightmare is kind of terrible. I assume it's maybe Poison Element or something? I don't think there's a... There's no Dark Element in this game, specifically. Could be non-elemental, but something like that. Alright, is there anything on the right that I missed? No. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on! <laughs> I want to get out of here. Uh, anything else for the lot? Anything else we should test out here? I did say before that I kind of like the Colossus. He uses Starlight pretty often. And I used to think this is a pretty powerful attack. I don't even know what element it is, but... It's not that great. It's good for Gao, but that's not saying much. Now, some of his abilities will also be stronger against single target. Like, they'll default to multi-target, but they'll split damage on uh, big groups. But, I mean, meanwhile, we've got Edgar, who can do 9,999 damage to any enemy weak to fire. Times two, if he gets a double jump. And then you got Gao doing 1,000 damage. I mean, what am I supposed to say about the kid? Anyway, welcome to the end of underwater area. Welcome to endless underground battles with me, Blanculo. So Brain Pan uh, probably has 1,000 needles, so he can do at least 1,000 damage with this. There you go. That's really uh, gonna compete. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sabin does like 7,000 damage. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Gal. I'm sorry, people who like Gal. He's got one of the lowest HPs in the game, and I just can't make him work. I, I guess... I'll have to pay for his respec and try just giving him all stamina to see if that makes his damage better. I'll get around to that at some point, but... Man, this, this seems poor right now. Wow, three. Um... Yeah, I mostly just use her for magic. That's fine. I'm planning on respecting basically everyone anyway at some point.
I've said it before, but I still wish Sabin had a pure Vigor build. And for Edgar lately, we're going Vigor Speed. I don't know if the speed affects how long he stays in the air, but the less time he's in the air, the better for his super jump. What is this? Yeah, this is what I was trying to say. By the way, isn't this a strange thing to find underground? By the way, this is like a memory. Or vision of the past or something. Thousand years ago. Found an ancient castle. Destroyed by the War of the Magi. So Odin sounds pretty cool. Might even be a god or something. So if you're familiar with the Odin summon, uh, instant death attack, you know, pretty cool. Uh, doesn't work very well on ghosts. In, at least in the Final Fantasy VI engine, um, you'll insta-kill a ghost and it'll just come back. So I don't think this is going to work very well for him. That's our old spooky ghost from the train, by the way. A thousand years later, spooky ghost. And apparently you can just turn him to stone. Huh. Oh, a sorcerer. Anyway, let's go exploring. This place had some of the absolute best gear in the game in, uh, in the original. Really awesome sword, really awesome relic. Let's see if we can find something nearly as good. Should have saved. Alright, now I don't know how bad this guy will be. Let's, uh. I honestly have no idea what to do with Gao here. You can, uh. Who's the best, like, single target? I don't know. You can, you can be a Mantis. Mantis does physical damage pretty well. Um. Manto Dia, there you go. Have fun. Have fun, kid. Oh good, he's gonna have auto counters, which makes someone on rage terrible. How bad is it? Ah, it's not too bad. I'll still try to scan him. Because it says Katana Soul, I wouldn't be surprised if he's like undead. But we'll see. Weak to fire, weak to holy, so I should have gone with, uh, something else. Unfortunately, the, the problem with the Ogor that can use the holy spell, uh, is undead, so then healing Gal becomes difficult. So, okay. If he's weak to fire, I have bad news for him. It's gonna come from above. At least he does some damage. It's not that bad. It's just not 16,000 damage. Or nearly. <laughs> well, I'll try something else, just because I haven't shown this on camera. But yeah, we can green cherry him. And we'll see uh, if I can find a better rage against a weak to fire enemy. Somehow I doubt it, though. So, I'm thinking the Revenant as my traditional fire-based uh, caster, but how much damage will it do? Not even as much as the physical Mantoid. Good news is I don't think the Revenant... Actually, the Revenant might be dead for all I know. I don't think it's supposed to be undead, but we'll find out if, if he dies right here. 
Mm hmm An awful lot of Gal's rages are like that. And it makes it very difficult for me. So I need a different fire elemental. Oh good, GP toss. Shh. That's uh that's too much damage there. So that's why I wanted to get the GP toss for um <laughs> for Setzer, because it's uh defense ignoring is pretty good, honestly. I'll have to try Setzer again once once I wanna use it. Alright, well, Gal did about as much as I ever get out of him. Absolutely nothing. And a Valiant! Alright, well, it didn't look like a Scimitar to me, but... Let's see what this is. Yeah, you can just lay there, Gal. You're... Almost better just laying there doing nothing at this point. So, it's a knife... Oh, it's this one! Yeah, alright. Well, that's Locke's so-called ultimate weapon. At least it ignores defense, but, uh... Does the most damage when Locke is low on HP. It's the opposite of the Atma slash Omega weapon. Eh, I was never a huge fan. There's some builds that would be quite good with it, but they all require leaving him at very low HP, and, you know. Alright, well, I mean, uh, that's one fight. Let me just save it here, I don't want to have to redo this if we die. Let's head on in! Let's fight a random battle out here. Alright, gal. Do something! Be a- be a dragon! Okay, that did some damage. Why didn't we think of dragon? Just be the dragon. And I- 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 I kid you not, guys. I have heard people, um, both in the original and in Brave New World, really give Gal all these accolades that he's like the best character. I just, I can't see it. I don't know, I don't know how you do it that Gao is suddenly good. I just can't make it happen. Anyway, we got some new enemies. Um... So those, uh... De surfing demons, we should call them. They tend to be strong to Earth and use, uh, Quake-type spells. Although, I don't know if this one will. Uh, why don't we try, like, the sea f Ah! Yeah, let's try the sea flower. I want to use the Ouija more often, but, uh, let's try the sea flower. And, because I am worried about Quake, and we're not floating anymore, let's get floating. Should have gone with, uh... Could have gone with Scan here, but... The Boxies probably just need to get murdered. Hmm. Alright, they, uh, they seem to absorb fire. They do not absorb being shocked. Or shot with an arrow. Always good to know. Leo's attack is... Celeste is so good. I love... I am so glad Celeste gets that ability now. Alright, well, let's switch out of Hell Claws then for now. And we'll go... Not to Omega. We'll go to Partisan for now. Don't use fire in here. All these armored suits are out of... Position, by the way. We're gonna go to the far left first. And apparently there's nothing in here. Lilith? Those are some strange looking things. Uh, they're probably floating, I guess. They're supposed to be flying, so... What element do you guys think? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's just troll them. That'll probably work. I think the troll has two strong single target attack- strong? 500 damage kills them. Ow. Okay. She counters by charming herself and X-zoning herself? Isn't there... I'm worried I'm going to miss something, because I know there's a couple secrets in this dungeon. A uh, couple secret chests. And the encounter rate could just go to hell. Holy cow. I don't remember it being this bad before, but maybe it always was. I don't know. Uh, well, the flyer should be weak to arrow, you know? That seems fair. But they have, like... Didn't... Okay, whatever the, the attack that Gal did before that did 500 damage, it it must have had instant death or something. 
Because uh, I thought 500 damage just killed her, but... Also, if that rasped all her MP and that saves us from an X zone, that might be worth it. If that's the sort of thing that they can cast. Looks like they're weak to ice or water, whatever one of those claws were. So nothing, just hiding here that you can't quite see. If I could step more than 10 squares without getting into combat, that would be the best. I'm sorry, gal. You can just take a... Well, if you get attack, if you get an attack, you can try to heal us. Looks like all you need is auto crossbow. <laughs> Don't bring Gal, bring auto crossbow. All right, trying to be thorough, but again, the random encounters are starting to see. Maybe, maybe my problem is what I'm used to doing is bringing Mog with his Moogle's charm, so that whenever it gets obnoxious like this, I just turn auto battle or I just turn random encounters off, which would definitely help. All right, we'll try. You know what? Let's try Gargoyle. I don't know what Gargoyle does. Holy Wind. That's another healing one. Great. How much does it heal? Oh, it's the same. It's like white... Same as White Wind. That's... This version's White Wind. Fair enough. So, he doesn't need to use Peeper. You can use Gargoyle to heal if you want. All you need is Crossbow. And Claws. All right, we'll get to you, Odin. We'll get to you. Let's just go to him now. It's pretty clearly dead, right? Turned to stone a thousand years ago. A cracked magicite shard. Now that's interesting. So, in, in the vanilla game, you got Odin from that. And he was a very, very short-lived esper that you could bring along and then upgrade and delete and turn into something else. I take it Brave New World no longer does that, and you just, uh, you just, um, you only get Odin. Genji shield, cool. Well, we got a couple pieces of nice looking armor by the, by the looks of it. So Royal Jacket blocks fire damage for, for the, for the twins. And the Genji shield. Auto safe. That's actually not the worst. So, would I equip... Over over Dark Gear, would I equip the Royal Jacket? We'd lose 5 speed, but we'd be... We'd take no damage from fire. It's not that much better. And then the Aegis Shield... What does the Aegis the Age Shield has something that it does as well. The Genji Shield gives you auto safe, which protects you from physical. Let me just double check what the Aegis Shield does, because I forget. No long-term memory, that's me. No short-term memory either. Apparently can't even see it when I'm scanning through a hundred friggin' things here. Oh, auto haste. Yeah, auto haste is probably better than auto safe. So if you only have one, or you only want to wear one, probably prioritize this, then. Yeah. Alright. Still no scimitars, still no offerings. Preemptive strike. Uh, go with, uh... I'm gonna go with Harpy, why not? He did some damage. Good job, kid. He did about half as much damage as Sabin or Tedgar. Nothing here. Oh look! Take a look, it's in a book! Alright, this time for sure, something amazing. Go with, uh... Leafer! Well, it did not do very much damage. Betcha Shock will do a lot more. Hm. 
<laughs> Who needs shock when you've got auto crossbow? <laughs> it's the Queen's Diary. I realize now that I am in love with Odin. This breaks every rule of our society. Yet, my heart longs for this noble, elegant man. After the fighting is over, I'm going to bear my soul to him. The fighting was never over. Arrgh! No, no. Please tell me you have the spell. Yes. I found a use for Gao, everybody. Found a use for Gao. That's his, that's his use. Hey, an X Ether. Are you freaking kidding me? Wait, what? Well, this is not looking good. Uh, ho hold up. Uh, wait, why is there a giant robot here? Uh, um, I am slightly concerned. I just want to see if he's got like a counter attack. Suplex has not work on him? We're dead. We are dead. Uh, so far... So... So... What are you supposed to do? I've never... I have no idea what this fight's gonna do. Weak to lightning, hey? And water. And he's got reflect. Alright, well the good news is rages don't worry about reflect. So water and lightning... That sounds like a case for sea flower. Yeah! Ra Gao has done the most damage. Um... At least the lightning claw works. Oh, that's not good. Actually, it's not as bad as I would have originally thought. Alright. So he he did blind us. That's, that's something I could be working on curing. So this is water elemental. Man, look at that! Gow! Not bad. All right, um, gotta do a little bit of healing here. And I do think... Well, I I mean, we just, I thought this was a random encounter, but we're gonna be treating this kind of like a boss fight, I guess. All right, so the trick might just be that you can suplex him, but you can't do it while you're blind. Uh, I was thinking he's going to be immune to suplex, but I forgot that he blinded us immediately, so... Suplexing him will slow him down, which is generally wise. I was, I was getting concerned maybe over nothing right off the bat. Uh, that could be painful. What does that do? Just a little bit of damage. No big deal. Alright, let's... Uh, remedy plus heal is pretty good. Or, uh, sorry, Remedy plus heal. Cure status and heal damage. And then now we can probably drill him. Drill will give him sap. So then we can sap him and slow him. There's some damage. Oh. Never mind, he's pretty easy. I got all caught up. I got all worried for nothing. I thought, like... Okay, like if you played Final Fantasy 1, you know about War Mechs, right? I was kind of thinking that we just ran into uh, Brave New World's War Mech. Apparently not. No nothing to worry about. Weapon scared me, but we're fine. I don't really want to fight too many more of those because it's a very long battle, but... Uh... Alright, so I got the X-Ether, I looked at the book. Oh yeah, alright, well... That's, that's kind of dumb that you just automatically do that right at the beginning. I guess that's his uh, his gimmick. He just automatically blinds everyone, so you waste your time curing it. 
Eh. It's just, I don't like wasting relic slots to give everyone status protection when there's so many other good relics that do damage. Alright. So, you remember the hint? A switch! Thank you, video game. I, I, well, this fight's easy enough. Anything that we can win with, like, one action, we should probably... Well, that's cool. It's healed by those. We should probably just fight it, rather than running away. I'm really happy that... I almost wish I could just turn off. I wish you could just press, like, select or something, and counterattacks would be disabled for the current battle until you want them again. Like, I think counterattacks are great. Uh, they really help dish out damage. But when you're in a rush, man, did it just, like, <laughs> the random battles here are just dragging me out. I'll just give it up. When you get to muddle my crossbower before you can even take an action. I think the enemies are quicker in uh, Brave New World 2. Like, I feel like they get actions before we do more often than not. And that's kind of rude. Anyway, welcome to the base. This is ridiculous. This is not supposed to be a friggin' Fantasy Star Dragon Quest game. Final Fantasy, quit giving me, like, random encounter every five steps. Gee whiz. Why did you have to get rid of Moogles? Oh yeah, watch out for that. Arr! I can't even, like, I can't even finish a sentence? <laughs> I guess you wouldn't have this problem if you're not Let's Playing. So, you know, if you're not Let's Playing, it's not so bad. You just fight out a battle every ten seconds. Not even, every second. Anyway, watch out for the floating dragon, dude. Everyone was turned to stone, except for the countless hordes of monsters. Hey, we've got Odin. For real this time. So it used to go from Odin to Raiden, and uh, Odin was kind of neat because he was one of the, he was just a, a, a esper that you could only get sort of temporarily. Uh, it did teach you s uh, speed actually, I believe it was one of the rare um, espers that gave you a speed boost which was rather rare, hard to get in the uh, in the, uh, the the vanilla game anyway. So dark, that's kind of neat, and X-Zone, potentially very powerful spell. Um, I think Strago can equip it. Uh, Maybe Cyan? No, not Cyan. Maybe it's just maybe just Drago. Uh, you know what? Just have some stamina. All right. Well, I think that's all I need to do. I I mean, I could try to fight the dragons, but we've had absolutely no luck with them. I expect this is the lightning dragon. Um, can I can I just show you the dragon? All right. It's the blue dragon. I just want to see him kill us, but, uh, I, I wouldn't want to bring Gao on a dragon fight anyway. But, um, we will have to come back and fight all the dragons at some point. They just seem way too strong right now for me. What are ya? Weak to lightning. Oh! Well, I thought he would be the lightning dragon. He seems to be weak to lightning instead. Pretty good for Sabin's one claw there. Ah, oh, water, I guess. Okay. Right, we're, we're kind of underground, maybe between the, the continents underwater and the ocean. There's been a lot of water enemies, so I guess that's fair. So if you could bring some really powerful lightning magic, you know, like that. Assuming you can survive his attacks. It just seems like all the dragons have had um, attacks that basically just deal um, like over 1500 damage to the party so far. Between Meteor and... Uh, Whatever the one the red dragon has. It's just like, there's no way to actually kill them right now. Other than finding some sort of gimmick. But, um, yeah, we'll come back and fight these guys later on. So that's the water dragon. That's freaking stop it. I'm going to end the episode here, but I am going to spend a little bit of time off camera exploring the castle a little bit more. The, uh, every five step encounter is starting to drive me nuts and we're already like way over length again. 
This was supposed to be a nice quick little dungeon that, uh, no real boss or anything unless you wanted to fight the dragon, and we can't, so. Anyway, um, I'll have a look for the scimitar and the offering, which probably aren't here, unfortunately. And, uh, failing that, uh, next episode we'll go after some more espers. Um, there's... Five left, maybe? Yeah, there's probably five left. I think I know where that one is. Well, one of them has to be Ragnarok. I still don't know where that's going to be. One of them will be from killing all eight dragons, probably. One of them is in relation to Cyan. What are the other two, then? Or am I... Maybe that's it. Maybe the bottom two. Actually, you know what? There's almost always, um... On the screen, there should always be one slot empty, because that's how you unequip an Esper. Like, if you've got one equipped already, they generally leave a blank spot, so you can unequip it. So... Maybe, maybe the bottom two are empty and there's just the three left. Eh, we're getting there anyway. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for bearing with me for the kind of ridiculous encounter rates down here. It's been kind of brutal, but at least we're done. So this area is, is done. When we go dragon hunting, I'm sure I'll just... I'll just skip most of the random encounters because it's kind of crazy. I really don't think it'd be too uh, overpowered if we had access to uh, a relic that... Uh, either cut down at random encounters or eliminated them. That, that wouldn't be too much, right? That, that'd be okay. <laughs> Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Unless we find some treasure, and then I'll show you in a second. Oh, look. I found something. So right on the outside of the castle, there's just a hidden little door here. And we get... The Punisher. I think that's the rod, right? Um... There it is. So, possibly one of the best rods in the game? I don't know. Dark is a spell that uh, we can also learn off of Odin, so we'll have to test this out, see how strong it actually is in practice. Uh, possibly the stronger bio spell. Anyway, I think that's it. I've looked around pretty thoroughly. I think probably the way I used to get the scimitar, uh, or at least one of the swords, was actually from killing the dragon. So that's probably what I was thinking, and then I know the game's gotten rid of the relic, so I think that's everything that you can get in the dungeon, uh, unfortunately, until we can fight that dragon. We'll be back for those guys later, don't you worry. See you there.